So, in the last episode, we ended off with some serious nightmare fuel, guys. We got down to two hearts of health left. And oh man. <laughs> oh, that was a scary time, wasn't it, guys? That was a scary time. But hello, everybody. We're still alive. My name is Python, and welcome back to the fourth episode here of the Ultra Hardcore Minecraft series. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And guys, thank you so much once again for all of the amazing support so far in the series. Once again, in the last episode, we reached well over 3,000 likes. I feel like we're very steadily getting a higher amount of likes every episode as well, my friends. That is absolutely fantastic. Guys, truly, thank you so much for all of the support. I truly appreciate it, guys. If we can keep it up with all of the support, that would be beautiful. And of course, guys, if you are excited for this series do be sure to drop a like rating hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on future episodes and of course check out my sponsors on screen right now if you're in the market for a new pc so in today's episode my friends we're gonna raid a woodland mansion oh yeah that is right but we're not gonna do it in the fashion that you guys may be accustomed to okay some of you guys might be thinking oh god python is going to die today this is it. This is it. Episode 4 is the final episode of the series. I'll tell you what, my friends. I am going to go to very far lengths to make sure that doesn't happen. Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm doing with my hotbar right now? You can see a certain tool flicking in and out of existence. Hmm. We're going to do this the Python way, okay? As a professional arsonist in Minecraft, we have to go ahead and uphold our titles, okay? The professional arsonist. We're going to do this, guys. We're, we're going to freaking do this. I don't much care about the forests around here. We could just regrow the trees. It's totally fine. We don't need to worry too much about it. We're going to burn this sucker down, and we're going to basically see if it's going to leave just, like, a whole bunch of chests behind. And more to the point... I think it would be a good idea to see... Oh, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. But here we are. We're going to burn this sucker down, all right? <laughs> what I'm hoping will happen is that it will basically kill all of the pillager dudes inside. And it will also just reveal a whole bunch of chests. So that's why we're doing this, guys. That's why we are raiding the Woodland Mansion today without even ever having stepped inside it. <laughs> oh, boy. So basically, we're going to do this all at the beginning of the episode. And then by the end of the episode, we should wind up having just a whole bunch of of just floating wood blocks all over the place, basically. That's what that's what's going to wind up happening. And, yeah. It's going to be a good time. Oh, God. Yep. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's a lot of fire already starting to spread around. I guess we need to be careful. Oh, wow. Okay, my game is starting to lag as well a little bit. The frames are definitely starting to dwell a little bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, 60 frames, 45 frames per second. Oh, the more fire. Oh, my God. The more fire that winds up spreading, the worse the frame rate is going to be. Okay, so the thing is, my friends, the thing is, we still need soul sand. However, we do get these broken nether portals generate all over the place, right? So what I think might be a good idea is if we were to maybe try to find ourselves one of those things. And, I mean, to be honest, I, 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 this is going to be a bit of a learning procedure for me, right? Because I don't know if you can get soul sand generate inside of the loot chests at broken nether portals. And also, I don't know if you can even get soul sand generate, uh, you know, around the portals themselves. So, I don't know, just some, something to bear in mind, I guess. Uh, something else to bear in mind is the fact that that was the last of our brown mushrooms. So we're going to need to get ourselves some more of those bad boys, huh? Like I say, I think it'd be a cool idea to make ourselves like a suspicious stew factory, you know, complete with mushroom farms and various other bits and bobs. It would be a good idea, wouldn't it? It really, really would. Oh, that is a portal. Hold on, that is a broken portal. Hold the phone. Hold the freaking phone. Yep, we do have ourselves another portal on the water here. The question is, is there going to be soul sand? I have a sneaking suspicion that there won't be, but you never know until you try, right? We definitely get magma blocks around here. That much I do know. Uh, but everything else, I'm not 100% sure of. What I am sure of, though, is the idea that I want to get this. This gold block here is going to be the start 
of, you know, our serious recovery in this Let's Play, okay? Because we are going to hopefully get to the point where we're going to have golden apples as our main food source, you know? I've seen the Neo Cubist Let's Plays on this hardcore series, and he's got the same sort of thing going on. Golden apples as his main food source. It's a good idea, isn't it? Regenerates at least two hearts of health and gives you absorption. There's a lot of things going on, guys. It's a great time. So, I tell you what, let's pop down here. If we hold shift... We won't take damage. There we go. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, mending? Holy crap. Okay, that's kind of cool. Right, let's just uh, get some more of this back. And I'm basically just going to break this thing and take everything that's inside it. I don't much care for, you know, sorting through things. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any signs of any additional gold blocks. So, I guess that's something to bear in mind. Whoa! Yeah, that thing is roaring, dude! Wow. The only thing that's going to be left is the cobblestone frame and I believe the glass as well. Glass is not flammable, nor is cobblestone. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's go to sleep real quick. Another day is going to begin on our UHC world right here, my friends. It's going to be a lovely time. What day are we on? 14. We are two weeks. We are two in-game weeks into the Let's Play, guys. All right, so what else should we do in today's episode? I'm, I'm thinking maybe we explore and we try to find villages. If we can find villages, I have a chance of finding librarian huts. And then librarian huts will have bookshelves in them. And then potentially some other forms of, uh, you know, things that we might actually need. You know what I'm saying? So, let's take down the coordinates here. So, 375, 500, rounded. Okay, pretty easy to remember, to be honest with you. Uh, could it be an idea for us to make a compass? We don't have any redstone. Ah, oh, darn it. We don't even have any diamonds yet, man. I mean, <laughs> I feel like we've been going at this whole series in the wrong order. Like, we've taken on Woodland Mansions without ever having stepped foot in it. And we haven't even got diamonds yet. Like, what the heck is up with that? Yeah, we're, we're freaking crazy dudes up in this business, dude. Burn, baby, burn. Woodland Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. I guess that's the main trade-off when it comes to using suspicious stews as a regenerative food source. Especially if you've got really low health and you need to regen your health, right? You know, you have to wait until you're hungry. That's the difference between the stews and the golden apples, right? Golden apples you can eat at any point, like that. But then suspicious stews, you have to wait until you're hungry. So, yeah, when it actually comes down to it, suspicious stews aren't really that overpowered. I think they're pretty well balanced in all actuality. You know, when you really think about it, I think they're pretty well balanced. So, yeah. All right. Eh, let's get over here. Oh, there's another portal here. Oh, well, holy poop. Wow. This thing was hidden here the entire time. This isn't even that far away from my house. Like, my house is literally over there. You can see the horses. We discovered them in the last episode, did we not? But here we are. Coming across another little uh, thing here. This is great. What do we got? Uh, Golden horse armor. Blast protection four. Ooh. Boom. There you go. I'm sorry, Mr. Cow. You just got egged. <laughs> I mean, it is Halloween coming up and people do tend to egg houses. Not that I would ever condone it, of course. But it's something that happens, is it not? Oh, wow. Look at this place, dude. Okay, so it appears we've got mountains over there. That's kind of nice. Oh, llamas. Regular llamas. Oh, look at this dude. Oh, you adorable. Oh, I wish I bought my leads with me. That would have been a great idea. Ooh. Okay. We do appear to have a village. And by the looks of it, it appears to be the smallest village I think I've ever seen. All right, well, I mean, it goes without saying we're going to explore it. But I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure that this is one of the smallest villages I've ever seen. Oh, look at this. All right, so we've got cacti here. Fantastic. You love to see it. All right, Mr. Horsey, just don't go walking off into lava. Ah! What the devil was that sound? I am very confused. Is there anything up here? Uh, nope, just another doorway. Huh, I like this house. This is a cool house. Hey, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the flower pots. The flower pots now belong to me. I'm sorry, bud, but it means that I don't have to mine a bunch of clay anymore. And, well, that just seems like a good idea to me. Okay, any more chests? Oh my god, that is a lot of bread. Yeah, baby, we've got a decent food source. Fantastic. All right, what do we got going on here? Oh. That sheep perished. Why did he perish? Um, I don't know. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's literally it for this village. Huh. All right, a little bit disappointing, but hey-ho, there were two loot chests here, so I can't really complain too much about it. Hey, Budski, 
Well, at least you don't go walking into the cacti like a bunch of idiots. Yeah. All right. What else do we have around here, huh? Ooh, snowy mountains. Fantastic. Hey, look at that. It's like an archway. It's like a natural archway. Dude, that's cool. I, I kind of want to go explore that real quick. <laughs> so today's a burning down a mansion episode and also a slight exploration episode. I like exploring, all right? I do. I like exploring. I'm very much aware of the fact that I haven't even started work on my base yet. It's something that I definitely need to get done, but there's just so many other things that I want to do, man. Oh, look at this place, dude. You can even walk under it, even with a horse. Oh, dude, this is cool. What a nice area. That is a really, really cool piece of terrain generation right there. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Well, let's go explore this real quick. Oh, there's two gold blocks. Fantastic. Sometimes you get two gold blocks. Sometimes you get one. And sometimes you get none. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy about the fact that there was at least something going on. Hmm. Okay. Are we going to get a chest down here? There normally tends to be a chest. Maybe it's just buried. Hey, there it is. Ah, just like X marks the spot, except you don't actually have a treasure map to help you with it. <laughs> That's like true berry treasure, isn't it? Where you don't even know where it might be. Uh, oh, Silk Touch. Hey, another gold apple as well. Decent. Yeah, I like that. We've got some decent stuff here. Well, I guess we could always sort refuge inside of this village real quick. I may have to rob one of their beds from them. Oh, look at these guys. It's my bed now. <laughs> what a dum-dum. Give me some daytime. There we go. Day 15. All right. Three twentieths of the way there, guys. I'll tell you what. We've got plenty of biomes where villagers can spawn around here. You know? Deserts, savannas, plains. We've got all three nearby. You know? This seed just keeps on giving, doesn't it? All right. What have we got over here, huh? Is that another forest biome? I think it may be, you know. Oh, no way! There's a mesa here! Wow! <laughs> I know you guys hate me for not giving you guys the seed, but unfortunately, I'm still not going to do it. Because like I say, I just don't want anything spoiled, you know? If I, if I gave the seed out on episode one, then there's a high possibility that at least some people would have maybe said that there was a mesa here. And then I wouldn't be so surprised that it's here. You know? This is awesome, dude. I can't I can't believe the seed, bro. I can't believe the seed. I think it's absolutely fantastic. The seed honestly does keep on giving. I can't believe we've got ourselves a freaking Mesa pretty near spawn. You know why that's so good? Is because it's a great source of gold. You know, aside from going into the nether, of course, I think that might be the second best way of getting gold in Minecraft. Aside from, of course, making a gold farm. You just head to a mesa. Gold spawns literally on the surface. It's great. Ah, oh. oh, man, I can't wait to explore that in a future episode, dude. <laughs> We're about to go on a freaking gold rush, dude. Dude. So we've got floating shrubs and more floating cacti. What in the heck? I, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I've given up trying to figure Minecraft out at this point, guys. <laughs> oh, snap. The fourth portal we have found today. Right? Is it the fourth one? I'm pretty sure it is, right? <laughs> very, very cool. Right, I tell you what. We'll make that maybe the last thing we explore today. For now, anyway. Because I do want to go back to that mansion. I want to see just what's going on. Okay? That is what I want to do. Oh, wow. That looks kind of dangerous. You know what? I'm going to keep you up here, Blizzard. I ain't about to have you come down and just freaking... Take a lava dip, all right? That's a big fat no-no. I'm not having it, all right? So, let's see what we got. Uh, Curse of Binding. What a bunch of trash. All right, goodbye. Uh, efficiency 1. Uh, eh, I don't know. That's kind of all right, but eh, it's not the greatest thing I've ever seen in the world, is it? All right, what are we going to get rid of? That. Uh, yep, that'll do. Sweet, and another flinted steel. I, I, I don't think we need the flinted steel. You know what? I'm going to pick it up just so it's not on the floor and just combine it. I don't really care that much. There you go, Blizzard. All right, guys, we are back at base. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of epic stuff going on. Let's put the bell up. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe we should pull it the other way. I think that'll look a little bit better, in fact. All right, boop. Yay. Sweet. All right, and what do you know? We've got quite a lot of things going on here. Wait, was there even a gold block? Did I miss gold blocks? Uh, I hope I didn't miss any gold blocks. Oh, boy. I think I may have, you know. 
Eek. Oh, God. Guys, let me know in the comments area if I missed out any gold blocks. I have a nasty feeling that I may have. Guys, let's go over here. Let's see what's happening, huh? If there are any evokers still alive, I am going to poo myself. Um, yeah, I don't want that to happen if I'm being totally honest with you guys. And I guess one of the other possibilities that may wind up being the case is that there's just a whole bunch of vindicators running around and I might wind up getting absolutely freaking ambushed, which I must say... I am not in the mood for dealing with right about now. <laughs> Are there any chests, though? That is the question, isn't it? Are there any loot chests hanging around that I need to go ahead and rampage and pillage my way through? Hmm? Tis the question. More to the point, I do want to see if there's any evokers. If there's any evokers alive, we are going to need to be hella careful, all right? Because, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we're getting kind of close to the fire here, in fact. Uh, oh, there's an evoker. There's one. I wonder if I could maybe take him out with a ranged attack. Hmm. I don't know, dude. All right, here we go. We're doing it, guys. Oh! Oh, my God! He was one shot! You're kidding! <laughs> what a dumbo! Oh, okay. Okay, he seems to have summoned some reinforcements. Yeah! Oh, I'm so nervous. Don't let anybody come over this crest. Okay, so there's no one there. There is someone over here. Let's take him out. Oh, he's dead. Any more? I really want to get the Totem of Undying. We have to get the Totem of Undying. There it is! Ha-ha! <laughs> we can cheat death! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh! Oh, we can cheat death now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, absolutely fan freaking tastic, bro. Oh, the bookshelves would have burned down. Oh, that's a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Oh, it's just a freaking skeleton of what once was, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, no. All right. Any secret chests? I don't see any secret chests, guys. You normally get like one or two secret chests around, right? I mean, there's like a chest room over there, but none of those are going to have anything in them. Wow, a singular efficiency one iron axe. Wow, what great stuff we have there. Dude, look at this though. Whoa, okay. There's a loot chest down there. That's great. I mean, we might as well, right? I feel like most of these guys are dead. Ha! Huh! Wait, there's a diamond hoe in there. What the hell? Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's nice, I guess. What? Oh, he's there. Okay. Ah! Oh, no, he's gone. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, so we got another Vindicator. Oh, this is scary, bro. I'm so surprised that there's no secret chest. Do you normally get, like, maybe a secret chest or two on the top layer? Okay, uh... You know what? Ranged attack. If I don't have a shield, this is going to be the safest way I deal with these guys, okay? Ooh. Wait, it's got three gold apples in it. Jesus Christ. Wow. I feel like that within itself has just made this whole thing worth it, you know? Whoa. What a freaking find. You want to try it, do you? Okay. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. We're okay. We're okay, guys. We could just eat a golden apple. There we go. We're not going to eat these things too much, I guess. I guess there is a, there is a chest there. Okay. Oh. Don't think I can't hear you, sir. There is a chest there. Oh, I want to get it, dudes. Hey, you dropped down. What you gonna do, son? Hey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, sucker? He's dead. Yeah. Did he drop any emeralds? Of course he didn't. Why would he? Oh, look at... Oh, wow. <laughs> Absorption heart. <laughs> I basically didn't take any damage there. Fantastic. All right. What have we got up here, huh? What have we got? Oh, my God. A lead. A lead, a name tag, and another gold apple. Man. Like a UHC person's dream. Oh, this is cool. All right, come on. Anything else for anything else? There's plenty of flower pots around by the looks of it. I don't know, man. There may be more chests around. There may not be. I can't see any in my peripheral vision right about now. But potentially if we manage to, I don't know, pillar our way up to the top layer, there may be a secret room question mark or something. Hey, look, I've got a, I've got a zombie friend. Look at him. He's trying to kill the, he's trying to kill the skeleton here. I'll assist you. Boom. Dead. Ah! 
Holy crap, that beast scared the life out of me. <laughs> what? Get out of here, dude. I don't like that. You can't just send bees to me. That ain't cool at all. Woo. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh. I can hear him, but I can't see him. And that prospect terrifies me, quite frankly. Are you up top here? Okay. No. All right. Let's try and get ourselves up here. Don't freaking shoot me off. Otherwise, I'm going to be so sad that I die of full damage. All right. What do we got, huh? Anything for anything. Wow, look at this room. Huh. Oh, there is a chest. Okay, so there was, there's one chest over there. The only thing is we're starting to run out of scaffolding blocks here. Uh, let's see what we've got. More golden apples? Sharpness. What? Two more diamond hoes? What? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> we get so much crazy stuff here, bro. I like this. This is awesome. Oh, wait. There's a there's a lapis block over there. That's interesting. All right. Parkour. Yeah. Oh, I'm so not going to last long if I keep doing all this parkour crap, dude. Oh, boy. I really don't like myself doing this, but here I am finding myself continuing to do it. Because I'm a stupid idiot. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Ah, oh, yeah. Three diamond hose. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Check out all of this beautiful stuff we've got going on here. We've got lapis. We've got emeralds. We've got... Oh, we've even got redstone, guys. Finally. We can make ourselves a compass and therefore a map if we really wanted to. Might not be a bad idea, in, in fact. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Guys, we've survived episode four. We're already doing better than a couple of the seasons of our regular hardcore Minecraft series before this. Wow. We're not doing too bad, are we, guys? That will wrap it up, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thanks so much for watching. Have yourselves a lovely rest your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode